In this example, we'll use the shell method to find the volume of a solid generated by revolving the region bounded by the curve and the line about the x-axis. We're given the curve x is equal to 4y minus y squared, and it's bounded by the x-axis and x equal to 0. So in an attempt to solve the problem, we'll use the shell method. And the shell method states that in order to find the volume of a solid of revolution about a horizontal line, the volume is equal to the integral from A to B for 2 pi times the shell radius times the shell height. dy. The limits or integration are on y. We also need to sketch a rough graph of the function. If you graph the function x is equal to 4y minus y squared, you'll see that the graph of that function is similar to this. Okay. Our limits are on the y-axis. So in order to find those limits, We'll find the y-intercepts, and remember from algebra to find the y-intercepts, you'll simply take your function, you'll set x equal to 0, and you'll solve it for y. So here I'll find the y-intercepts. So I'll take the function 4y minus y squared, I'll set that equal to 0, and I'll solve it for y. So I'll simply factor out a y. So y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 4. So we're going to set up the formula for the shell method. We have that the volume is equal to the integral from 0 to 4 for 2 pi times the shell's radius times the shell's height. In order to determine the shell's radius and the shell's height, I'll next draw a cross section parallel to the axis of revolution. Since we're revolving this figure about the x axis, I'll simply draw a parallel line to the x axis. This serves as the shell's height, and the shell's height is given by the function. I'll also sketch out the shell's radius. And the shell's radius is dependent upon the y variable. So as we set up our shell method formula, we have 2 pi times the shell radius, which is y, times the shell's height, which is our function, 4y minus y squared, dy. I'll pull 2 pi in front of the integral operator. I'll simplify y times the quantity 4y minus y squared, and that gives us 4y squared minus y to the third dy. Next, I'll integrate the function 4y squared minus y cubed. So we have 2 pi. The integral of 4y squared is 4y cubed over 3 minus the integral of y to the third, which is y to the fourth over 4. And our limits of integration are from 0 to 4. Next, we'll use the fundamental theorem of calculus. So I'll simply substitute in f of b. So I'll substitute in 4. And I'll substitute in a, which is 0, and that will give us 0. And once we simplify this quantity, we see that the volume is equal to 128 over 3 pi.